we want to find the intervals for which the function is increasing and decreasing and also determine any relative extrema. Formally, a function is increasing if as x increases, y increases, and a function is decreasing if as x increases, y decreases. But I think an easier way to determine where a function is increasing or decreasing is to trace the graph from left to right, and as we trace the graph, we're moving uphill, the function is increasing, if we're moving downhill, the function is decreasing. So if we start on the left or we start here, as we trace the graph from left to right, notice how we're going uphill, and therefore the graph is increasing. It continues to increase until we reach this high point here. Let's go ahead and stop here for a moment. This high point represents a relative maximum. Let's go ahead and find the coordinates of this point. The coordinates would be negative two comma eighteen. Notice the piece we just highlighted. As x increases, the function values also increase. And once you reach this high point and start to come down the other side, we're moving downhill and therefore the function is decreasing on this interval. It continues to decrease until we reach this low point here, which would be a relative minimum. Let's go ahead and find the coordinates here. The coordinates would be positive two, negative 14. As we move past this low point, notice how we start to move uphill again and therefore the function is increasing on this interval and it continues to increase. If we take a look at this middle region just for a moment, notice as x increases, y decreases, and that's more formally why we say the function is decreasing on this interval. And then again, as x increases, y increases on this last interval, and therefore it's increasing. Notice how the function changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals negative two, and then from decreasing to increasing at x equals positive two. The last thing to remember is as we move right on the x-axis, we approach positive infinity. As we move left, we approach negative infinity. Now we have all the information we need to determine whether the function is increasing or decreasing and list any relative extrema. The function is increasing from negative infinity to negative two, so we use intervals on the x-axis to determine whether the function is increasing or decreasing and we're not going to include negative two in the interval because at negative two, the function changes from increasing to decreasing, and that's where the relative maximum occurs. But the function is also increasing on the interval from two to infinity, again, not including positive two. And the function is decreasing on the open interval from negative two to positive two. This high point represents a relative maximum, which we can also call a local maximum. And this low point represents a relative minimum, which we can also call a local minimum. So the local maximum is equal to the function value or y value. So the local maximum or relative maximum is equal to 18 when x equals negative two. And the local minimum or relative minimum is equal to negative 14, the function value at the low point, at x equals positive two. The last thing I do want to mention is you may be asked to express your intervals using inequalities instead of interval notation. So let's go ahead and show that just in case. The interval from negative infinity to negative two would be x is less than negative two, or the interval from two to infinity would be x is greater than two. So the open interval from negative two to two can be written as x is greater than negative two and less than two. And I think we'll go ahead and stop there. I hope you found this helpful.